Hi everyone, this is Emma. Welcome to online video course Piano Well. This is lesson number 11 from my training book that you can download for free on my, webs on my website artofpianotechnique.com. Uh, open, let's open our book on page 51 and uh, today we're going to talk about emotional image. Um, so what emotional image is? Emotional image is ability to express the feelings that music creates within your heart through playing. And actually this is one of the main reasons why we're playing piano. But here yeah, this is one of the difficult part in playing piano because even though we may feel music very well, as soon as we start playing, we, we feel like there are some walls that we cannot go through. Something stops us from expressing our feelings through playing. And that could be very, very um, frustrating for most of us. And as a result, teachers usually has, have to impose on students their vision of music simply because they couldn't get uh, students' interpretation. So they start explaining like what kind of music it is, or what kind of image, what kind of feeling you should feel while playing and probably they have no idea that we may feel this music even better <laughs> than they are and it's not even about better, it's about my interpretation or your interpretation why I should imitate your interpretation you just need to help me to, to, to open to solve my problems, to open all the doors so I could express my vision through my playing. <laughs> well, everything starts with listening to harmonies. And if you already did this in like previous steps, uh, when you were about to find the emotional color of harmonies, then I uh, you probably know, you probably have an idea what what this music is about. And the next step is when you actually express uh, your feelings through intonation and musical speech. If you don't do this, then no matter how hard you try to play with feelings, you will always feel that everything is kind of is, is blocked. You cannot go through these closed doors, you cannot express everything you feel through playing. But when you <laughs> know how to intonate melodies with weight, with musical speech, that will give you these treasures, to feel these treasure spaces between notes. And there is a true magic in these spaces, because this is like your open doors that you can go through and now everything you feel you can express through playing. And when I found it probably around seven, eight years ago, or seven years ago, I felt so much relief because um, I could feel every little vibration of my emotional image 
in these spaces between notes when I in when I intonated with musical speech and I just started breathing because I stopped feeling tension about me trying to play with feelings and um, that was a great joy for me to, to discover this technique really it's like a magic you should try so I really want to share it with you to know that you can do the same um, so I guess <laughs> This is like a long prelude, so let's go to my book and um, I will show you how uh, how actually emotional image changes the way you intonate sounds. It, it, your intonation will be enriched, really. It will be more expressive if you do this. Okay, so it's gonna be lesson 11, emotional image, page 51, 5, 1. Are there many exercises? Oh, okay, only two pages here. <laughs> Actually, it's getting less and less assignment, assignments and less and less exercises in this assignment. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Sing and play sing and play an interval with feeling of emotional image, okay? So in this table below I um, put just two words, <laughs> joy and sorrow. So we're, we're kind of starting with uh, black and white, white and black. Um, of course music is much more complicated than this. Um, but it's okay, we need something simple to develop something difficult. <laughs> so let's read it. There are again simple um, intervals. So you're into emotional image. Okay, so we emerge into this uh, feeling of joy and sing an interval with musical speech and emotional image. Alright guys, so this is the thing. I ask you to sing it with musical speech and emotional image. And if you remember about musical speech, lesson number lesson number nine, I guess. Should be. Yeah. Lesson number nine. About music about musical speech. Check it out if you have no idea what I'm talking about. So um, it's kind of we can be at the first side, it can be, it, it can, it can be a little bit complicated. How I can just make musical speech and emotional image together, but <coughs> this is the trick that when you um, concentrate, when you tune into emotional image, when you focus on emotional image, you and just intonate melody with musical speech there is just a slight shadow of musical speech left mostly a feeling of difference um, of distance between intervals so it's like maybe like 10 percent of musical speech but very important 10 percent will be left So don't worry about that, just if you already mastered this technique to sing and play with musical speech, it's gonna be easier for you now. <coughs> so let's do this. So I'm singing in the joy. Let's start with the third again. I'm gonna do like this. Third, that is sung in joy, and third, that is sung in 
solo. No, I can try to sing on the high pitch. Okay. So. Even though it's not a minor third, it's still major third. But you can make, you can express the feeling of sorrow through major third. easier to express sorrow through second just because of <coughs> musical speech. Now tune into emotional image, imagine sound texture and plain interval, feeling how you express emotional image through musical speech. I know it sounds complica complicated but basically what we do is we tune into feeling of joy and then we get away <coughs> and then we start playing internally intonate this interval with musical speech. That's all we need to do. Let's see how it works. In, uh, in joy first. And so But when I was tuned into sound texture, this feeling uh, even changed the a little bit the color of sound texture. I mean, feeling of sorrow, for example. Okay, now um, with third you do the same. So first you sing it, enjoy. Imagine sound texture, then you get away and play. And then you do the same interval in the feeling of sorrow, or sadness, I don't know, the same. <coughs> Imagine these two notes in sound texture and play. Of course, the, the main reason why we're doing this exercise is for you to feel the difference when you intonate in joy and when you intonate in sorrow. So you do the same with all intervals, ascending and descending. And finally we get to 7-2. Uh, so now <laughs> we're gonna uh, actually play uh, sentences of notes. But if you look closer, we are making them in the, um, in the phrasing, like motifs, phrases and sentences, just like we did in previous lesson. Lesson number 10, phrasing. If you never check that one. Okay, let's go here. <coughs> Sing and play a sequence of notes with feeling of emotional image. Alright, we got it. <laughs> So, first thing what we do, 
or we're playing in the feeling of joy. How to do? Tune into emotional image. Okay. And sing. Okay. So we're gonna sing this little motif in the state of joy and still everything um, is led to the main interval which is this augmented fourth <laughs> oh my god let me try it's too high for me now okay so i'm basically i'm singing the motif in the feeling of joy this is what we do okay I think I'm done with singing today because my voice oh my god I really cannot control my, my, my voice <coughs> <coughs> I hope in a week I'm gonna be fine gosh <laughs> so you understand the principle <laughs> so the second thing we tune into joy we imagine this motif in sound texture and we play like a motif. sure that you imagine both hands first in some texture. And next motif. And then you do the same with phrase. <coughs> Again, I'm not going to explain everything here because just the same table we had table we had and practiced in previous lessons so you already know how to do this Softer, but 
again, it's natural. I'm not doing this on purpose. Yes, this is... Uh, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Oh my god. This is it. I'm not talking more. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>